When a person decides to become a nurse, they make the most important decision of their lives. They choose to dedicate themselves to the care for others. In a sense, they're looking out for your health, wellness, happiness, and organization. And that is my life motto. Nurses are strong because they have to stay strong to fight the toughest battles. And in real life, we have to do the same thing. So that's why I created this video where I wanted to share some of my most beautiful decor that I have in my home office that helped me remember to create self-love rituals. So I want to go ahead and share the first thing, which would be the symbol of the heart. You have to have love, self-love, friends. Love for yourselves, not just for others. We have to love ourselves in order to love others. And this Valentine's Day, I want you to remember that. Do something, something that will help you escape the ordinary, the chaos of everyday life. The neglect of self-care and relaxation routine is something that we tend to do a lot, especially if you're a mom or if you're a nurse, by that, for that matter. So giving yourself some valuable downtime, it will help you recharge your body, nourish your mind, and definitely lift your spirits. So create some self-love routines and relaxation rituals that don't involve food. Start with small changes, such as going to bed early, treating yourself to a massage, lighting some candles, or just taking a long bath. Sometimes we tend to overlook those things that are very little, but that mean a lot, and they make, make like a new hobby that will also increase your self-esteem. Some of the changes that I'm making is to simply brush my hair. <laughs> a lot of times you've seen me with my messy bun. So one of my goals is to not have that messy bun, bun more than a couple times a week. So whatever that may be for you, start with little small changes that will help you to create a ritual for self-love. Maybe social networking, going out with a friend, a self-help book. You know, it doesn't always have to be things that you buy. You know, just replacing negative thought patterns can help you stay motivated. Maybe a stressful situation. Train yourself to think peace and choose peace and joy instead. I know it's easier said than done, but you can train yourself to think and act this way. In order to help you uproot emotional eating and enable you to reach a state of overall health and wellness and of course happiness and organization so remember an apple a day keeps the doctor away but if you escape the ordinary it will also help your emotional health and well-being many blessings and happy valentine's day